so first identify the central atom so sulfur is the central atom then put the remaining atoms symmetrically and uh, how many valence electron of sulfur six valence electron and oxygen has six valence electron it means two electron of oxygen will shared with sulfur because oxygen form generally how many bonds two, two bond and to form a two bond sulfur has to share how many electron two electron so this is the bond got it so you can draw it like this sulfur double bond o double bond o double bond o and how many lone pair all the oxygen has two lone pair yes you can form the coordinate bond but since s belong to third period expansion of octet occurs so no need to draw the coordinate bond if expansion is not possible then we draw the coordinate bond. structure of so2 how you draw the structure see here how many lone pair of oxygen how many like balance electron six so how many valence electron of sulfur six so two electron will be shared with oxygen and what two electrons will remain as a lone pair so this is the bond between sulfur and oxygen got it yes so a structure will be like this so so and sulfur has one lone pair oxygen has two lone pair so sulfur has how many electron four four eight and two ten electron and since it belong to third period so octet expansion occur so more than eight electron is stable here but in oxygen oxygen must be eight electron more than it is not possible got it chromium oxygen how many valence electron six bond and oxygen has two lone pair chromium has six electron therefore it can See form here. maximum there is a bond formation between this this and here and here is also bond formation between oxygen and oxygen this bond is called which bond peroxide bond so the structure of CrO5 is Cr O O O O So this structure is called peroxide bond this is called covalent bond and you have to show the lone pair all oxygen has how many lone pair two lone pair So this is of CrO5. H2 SO5. So how you draw the structure of H2 H2O5? <coughs> yes, wrong idea. So for this, first you have to identify the central atom. And here sulfur is central atom. So sulfur, then you have to put the, all the atoms symmetrically. And we know that oxygen for maximum bond 2. And here is hydrogen atom. So hydrogen generally always make a bond with oxygen. So you have to put the hydrogen with oxygen. So here is one oxygen. Symmetrically put here oxygen. Here is one oxygen. Here is one oxygen. 
and we know that oxygen can form maximum two bond. So sharing of two electron occurs. So six electron of oxygen. And uh, you know that sulfur has how many electron? Six electrons. So you have to sharing the two electron here. And there are remaining two oxygen atoms. So one electron will be here and one electron will be here. And see here how many atom here? Five oxygen atom. So one oxygen has no choice. One oxygen will make a bond with oxygen. It is not possible to make a bond with sulfur. So oxygen will be here. And hydrogen will make a bond with oxygen. So, to make a bond, how many electrons of oxygen is required? One. One. It has six electrons, therefore, two as a lone pair. Here also, one. One. Two as a lone pair. This oxygen has how many lone pair? One here and one here. So, total six electrons, so two lone pair. Now, make a bond. This hydrogen is how many? One electron. This is also one electron. So this is the Lewis dot structure. So there is a sharing of electron here. Single electron here. Here is also single bond. Here is formation of double bond. Here is single bond. Here is also double bond. So the structure will be like this. Yes. So this is also one single bond. So this linkage is called peroxide linkage. Peroxide bond. Sulfur. Oxygen, oxygen H. Oxygen H double bond O, double bond O and so the lone pair, two lone pair here, here, here is also two lone pair and two lone pair. So this is the structure of H2SO5. This linkage is called per oxy linkage. First identify the central atom, here H2 is the central atom, so two sulfur is the central atom, it means you have to write a separate two structure and then you have to combine that structure. So you have sulfur, sulfur, you know that sulfur can form maximum six bond because it has valence electron. How many? Six valence electron. So how many oxygen? Eight oxygen. Put the eight oxygen symmetrically. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8. Now put the hydrogen symmetrically. Done? So, what will form here? Write the electron. How many electron of sulfur? First, write electron of oxygen. Two electrons will be shared by sulfur. So this oxygen will form two bond by sharing their two electron. And this oxygen will share only one electron. So this oxygen also share one electron. Now sulfur will sail there, one electron here, two electron here, one electron here. Hydrogen will share there one electron. Sulfur will share there two electron. One electron with this oxygen, hydrogen will one electron. So the structure will be here. 
single bond here will be single bond So see here, it has, this linkage is called four oxide linkage. So this is the structure of H2H2OH. You can also draw the bond line structure, sulfur, oxygen, oxygen, sulfur, oxygen. Hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen. And the structure must be symmetrical, therefore, the structure is like this. So, one bond here, two bond, two bond. See here, oxygen can form maximum two bond generally, therefore, it is one bond is oxygen, one bond is sulfur. We have two bond, one bond, and one bond. Now, you have to draw the lone pair. So, all the oxygen has two lone pair. All the oxygen has two lone pair. So this is the structure of H2SO, H2H2O8. So how draw the structure of HNO4? One technique, first calculate the oxygen number of nitrogen. If you calculate the oxygen number of nitrogen, so find out put it x so plus 1 plus x 4 into minus 2 equal to 0 so x equal to plus 7 and we know that nitrogen how many valence electron 5 electron that is more than 5 not possible it means given compound has per oxide linkage so there is a bond between oxygen and oxygen. Clear? So now you put this nitrogen here and oxygen symmetrically. So you can't put fourth oxygen here because nitrogen never combined with four oxygen. So one peroxide linkage, it means other oxygen must be towards oxygen. So you have to put here and hydrogen must be combined with oxygen. oxygen. So either this oxygen or this oxygen. So let us see for first the formation of bond with nitrogen and oxygen. So clearly you know that oxygen maximum form two bond. It means one oxygen will combine with here and one oxygen here with this oxygen. Yes or no? And uh, since nitrogen, oxygen has one electron. So Nitrogen has also one electron will share with this. This oxygen how many lone pair? Two lone pair because oxygen has six valence electron. So always write the always write the bonding electron as well as non-bonding electron. Always. So make a practice. So write bonding electron and then just write the non-bonding electron. See here, nitrogen. This is oxygen, how many bond formed by oxygen? Two bond, because it is alone. So always single oxygen form maximum two bond. Any oxygen form maximum two bond. But it is combined with nitrogen only, so must be the sharing of how many electron? Two, two electron, not one electron. Because oxygen form two bond. And see here, it has how many lone pair? Two. Now, this oxygen has how many lone pair? Six electron. Always oxygen has six, six electron. Nitrogen has how many electron? Five electron. One is shared with this oxygen. And since here oxygen has to share two electron, so nitrogen must share their two electron. Now three electron of nitrogen is used. So how many remaining electron? Two electron. So put here two electron. Now you can say, sir, share the two electron here. But if you share the two electron, so total number of electron becomes 10. 4 here, 
4 here, 8 and 2, 10. So you can't say 2 electrons. You also can't say 1 electron. Got it? If you say the 1 electron, then here electron will be 9. So you have no choice here. So you have to form which bond? Coordinate bond. So this is a coordinate bond. And uh, here hydrogen will be here and oxygen has one electron. So two lone pair and one electron of hydrogen will bond form with oxygen. So this is a structure of HNO5. So if you draw the bond line structure, so nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen, and the structure is double bond O, one coordinate bond. So in exam, there is a question, how many types of bond here? Two types of bond. One is coordinate bond and other is covalent bond. So always remember, with nitrogen, there is always possibility to coordinate bond. So see here, this linkage is called, this linkage is called peroxide linkage. Got it? So now we are able to draw the any structure.